Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, how y'all feeling tonight? It's, <clears throat> I just thought I'd come in here and share a couple of things um, with my people. Because, honestly, I'm a little disheartened. Um, I'm a little disgruntled because at the end of the day, I want my people to win. And we're not ready. Like, we're not ready for the reality that's facing us that's so, so transparent and so in our face, but yet we act like we don't see it. What am I talking about? I'm talking about we're we in a recession and people don't even know it. We get ready to go through, and this ain't no loom and groom. This is about preparation. Let me be clear about that because I don't want people to be thinking I'm going on a fair tactic, but I'm going on a preparation tactic because as a people, especially black people, we don't, we don't believe nothing stink. <laughs> That's just the facts. And I know it come from us already not having nothing. And, you know, so a lot of times we think nothing is really going to affect us that much because we don't really have that much anyway to start off with. But I beg to differ because this is going to be a lot harder than the first time. Like if you went through COVID, if you went through COVID and you seen how traumatic COVID was to people losing their lives, losing their homes, losing their business. Um, know that it's going to be worse this time. And if you look at it, the signs are are already here. The signs are, you y'all know, y'all keep it real for a minute. People don't have the extra little twos and fews they used to have. Prices are going skyrocketing for eggs, milk, uh, you name it. They're charging us top dollar for everything. So the whole thing is like, what's going to be the solution to this? What is going to be the solution? What was that? What is going to be the solution? What is going to be the solution to us being prepared for this crisis. We don't grow our own food, 95% of us. We don't have a water supply, 95% of us. We don't know how to hunt, 95% of us. We don't even know how to fish, about 75% of us. So when you add that up, the reality is we're dependent. We're dependent on the government. We're dependent on it. We don't get food from our stores, Publix, Acme, ShopRite, you name it. We lost. We done. Like, it's over with. <laughs> if the store doesn't have water, 95% of us, we done. We don't live near springs. We, it's, it's, it's sad. So... I'm saying this to say, when I come on here and share different things with my people, when I talk about gold, when I talk about silver, when I talk about uh, opportunities with trading, learning how to trade, um, because AI is taking over. Like they already talked about how McDonald's jobs are going to be gone. This is how you got to think about it. If Apple, Amazon, all these, if Apple, I mean, is it Amazon or Apple? One of them. I think it's Amazon. Yeah, I think it's Amazon. They talking about laying off 30,000 employees. 30,000. Because they got robots that can do the same thing for lesser cost. <laughs> and that's what it's about. So, 
I just want to be sure. That's why I'm Googling it. Amazon laying off workers. Okay. So I just want, like I said, I like to make sure I'm uh, on point. And if you think about, I was right. Wow. All right, this was January 23rd. Look what it says, y'all, because I won't be saying, damn what I mean, said nothing. I didn't say anything. Because I like to, 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 to literally back up what I say, okay? It says, this ain't come from damn what I mean, Meadows. It says, Amazon cuts hundreds of jobs in Prime Video. Bam. So now, look, if I go back, 27, oh, let me see, I'm sorry, oh, 27,000 workers. It says since 2000, can y'all see? Yeah, since 2022, Amazon laid off 27,000 workers. So that's not, that's, that's not a game. That's not, that's See, we're talking about Amazon. So we're not even talking about other uh, corporations like Walmart, even Walmart. They're laying, because they're getting robots, AI technology, robots. And the sad part is our people, black people, majority of us not even using AI, not even playing with it. Not even playing with it. How do you think we're going to compete in the future if we're not even playing with AI? When AI is set to replace 40% of the workforce, that's scary. Truck drivers, they got electric cars. Yeah, you heard. You talking about Servers. I just went in Pasco's. I think that's the name of the restaurant down here in Atlanta. They got a robot that bring you your food. <laughs> they bring you your food. So it's right in our face. If we don't, if we don't embrace cryptocurrency, gold and silver, if we don't embrace these type of things, we're going to be so lost. And Behind, we're already behind the eight ball. We're still believing in, you know, we got to have uh, Louis Vuitton and all this old stuff. I'm so over that stuff. And I like nice stuff. I ain't going to say a lot of you. But at the end of the day, I'm coming to an age in my life where it's like, they don't, I never seen nobody from Louis Vuitton support anything that I buy. I mean, I sell. I don't see them in our neighborhoods. They don't build in our communities. And it's, it's sad. We got to get like that. We have to get like that because we support everybody else but our own. And then when we try to help each other, we down we downplay each other. We downplay each other so much as, it, well, what's in it for you? Do you say that when you go to the Gucci store? When Gucci blatantly said we ain't messing with y'all. Tommy Hilfinger. All these other name brands that people don't care about meaning they don't care about us, but we still support them. And I'm not saying that I'm not going to buy no Louis nothing. I ain't saying that. I'm saying I'm at an age in my life where I, I prioritize. And that's all I'm trying to say. We have to wake up. We got to wake up because a lot of us in our 40s, 30s, 50s, you name it. And we still acting like we're in our 20s. That's that's when you should have a problem. So some of us don't even own Bitcoin. If you don't own Bitcoin in 2024, I don't care if it's $5 worth of Bitcoin. It's right in your cash app. You don't got to get it from Damon I mean Metals. It's right in your cash app. Put $10, $20, $50 and just let it sit. If you don't, I'm, listen, I, I like earning cryptocurrency. I got a new platform called Boomerang where I'm, I'm literally, it's AI technology where it, it trades for you where you don't lose. Like literally don't lose. 
the AI system is so high tech, it does not allow you to put in a trade that you're going to lose. This is what I mean about AI. This boomerang platform that I, that I got access to is the tr it's going to change the trading world. You heard what I just said. It's going to change Damon I mean metal. It's going to change the trading world because the AI technology it picks the crypto trade for you. It it's all in one transaction. It's it's I never knew what a flash loan was. This company is going to give you a loan, make the trade for you with a, a all you gotta do is put the cryptocurrencies in the slots. That's it. Literally, you ain't gotta learn how to trade. You don't know about no candlestick. You don't gotta learn about none of that. This is what I mean by technology is changing so rapid that if we don't really understand what's going on, we done, y'all. I'm dead serious about this. We we're gonna be so far in the back that our children, oh, it's gonna be so sad, man. You know, and I see these, you know, our children out there in gangs and you know, terrorizing people. Hey, listen, Terry, come at me. Get with me about this boomerang thing. Seriously. Um, our kids out there looting and stuff like that because, you know, hurt people hurt people. And I'm not justifying anything, but our children need us. And we have to be in a position where they respect us. A lot of times our families, our, our children don't respect us because they look at everything as mon mon monetarily. You know, some some old heads, you know, they ain't got it no more. Some, you know, older sisters, they ain't they ain't swag, they ain't swagged up no more. So a lot of times they think they can't talk to these young kids out there. That's not money shouldn't make you. Money shouldn't make a person feel like they got confidence. Because I gotta tell people all the time, before social media, and I ain't saying this about bragging, I was already <laughs> you know, him. You know, and, and I'm not going to deny that and say it in an arrogant way. I'm not. I'm just speaking the truth. Before social media, a lot of us was already celebrities, so to speak. You know, whether it was hood celebrities, whether it was, you know, whatever. But I tell people, just because you might not be in a position that you once was in your life, don't allow, don't think your influence has stopped. Don't think your influence has lessened because it hasn't. You don't have the confidence because you think money makes you who you are. Money should never define a man or a woman. With or without money, you're supposed to be the same. Our children need us out there. Our adults need us out there. You still got dudes 50 and, I mean, like, literally thinking they acting like they still wearing hat to the back and saggy pants. and all. Man, Stop it. And... I'm I'm just talking tonight. I'm not trying to listen. I feel like talking to my people because I care about my people. Because I'm in some circles, you know, and I I'm and I'm blessed. I right, listen. I am not saying this in an arrogant way, but I gotta call a spade a spade. I'm blessed to be in some circles and in some some meetings that the average person will never be in. And I just I'm just real. Um and when I share these things, I share experiences, I share um, opportunities, I share, you know, what, what I'm learning from these millionaires and billionaires. And see, I'm not one of these dudes that's, that's going to hide the information to shine on people. I have made some mistakes financially. I have made some great investments financially. And that's all a part of learning. That's all a part of growth. And I don't look at losses. I look at learning. I take my losses as learning, learning experiences. And you have to learn. All of us. If somebody, if you, if you see, if you see an entrepreneur, he tell you he ain't never took no losses. She tell you she ain't never took no losses. She's lying. But I don't say losses. I say learning experiences. So when we're talking about physical silver or physical gold and these this is money this is real money um i tell people get you some silver and it don't got to be a lot you start minimum start cuz listen they going to the banks are going to be closed like don't you really understand that the banks are going to be closed 
they're, they're going to put this disease. Th- Listen, this is my opinion. When they come with this planned pandemic again or whatever, don't you understand it's already to change the ecosystem of currency? Understand it's the underplay for the overlay. Always know that they think in five steps ahead. You understand? They know they can't stop cryptocurrency. They can't stop it. So now they're going to what? You're going to join it. Understand that you're going to a digital crypt, a digital currency. The U.S. is going in a digital currency. And our people are so scared of learning about Phoenix Token. Like I was telling people about Phoenix Token before our company... Listen, this Phoenix token that we that I, I've been telling y'all about the Phoenix token, it's gonna change the world. Don't you know we have the first crypto casino in Cyprus, North Cyprus? Ladies and gentlemen, the first crypto resort. You heard me? Yes. First crypto casino, first crypt crypto resort, the Phoenix. North Cyprus, Forbes magazine said, it's one of the top four most beautiful beaches in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is about global business. And again, I'm not saying this to brag. I'm saying this because I really love for my brothers and sisters what I love for myself. Nobody taught me about this. I I had to learn. Like I told you, I, I learned a lot since I've been home. I learned a lot, um, ups and downs. So when I talk about gold and silver, I didn't know about gold and silver. I wore chains like you, gold and silver and platinum and diamonds. And that's what I thought wealth was. And two, I put my pride to the side and started learning about real money, silver and gold. I started learning about cryptocurrency. I started learning about trading. You know how intimidated I was about trading? I used to look at those those scales, charts. I'd be like, man, that stuff Chinese, man. I can't learn about no doggone trading. But now they got an AI. What I don't gotta learn about candlesticks. I don't gotta learn about reading those charts. I don't gotta do all that. With boomerang, they literally you can't make a mistake. All you gotta do is put the cryptocurrency in there, put the one that's trading, you see the profit margin, click confirm. That's it. Like literally. Boomerang is great. Change the game. If you want to learn about Boomerang, y'all need to contact me ASAP. The Don, Jay, contacted me about this, bro. Game changer. They're giving you a flash loan. The AI, check this out. The AI makes the trade for you, pays back the loan for you, pays you in your decentralized wallet all in one transaction. Pays the fees, everything in one transaction. The AI do all this for you. Y'all ain't hearing me. When let, listen, to that technology, different level. So, with AI, cryptocurrency, robots, electric electric cars, it's just the whole world is changing. And if we don't get with the program, so to speak, we're going to be the, remember that show, the haves and the have-nots? Ain't going to be no middle class no more. It's going to be the haves and the have-nots. See, you can't even see us down here. It's the haves and the have-nots. I'm dead serious. And if you look at it, See, we we be we be at all about the technology that's in our face when we go to these restaurants and we see these computers and robots just doing everything. They got a they, man, they got a gas station. Let me see if I can listen. They got a gas station, y'all. It's ran by robots. Yeah, gas station. See, I got to show y'all because y'all won't be thinking it's me. The 
is run by robots. See, I'm, I'm, <laughs> listen, I'm just, I'm just a messenger. Whoa, oh my God, this is, see, and, and this is what I mean by, I, I show these things because it's just, man, this is crazy, let me see something, because I want us to be prepared, you know, you know what I mean, we're not prepared, you know what I mean, we really not prepared, and that's what's so it saddens me because I want I want my people to be prepared. Did you know that you could get? Well, I'm ready to show you this joint. Fifty thousand dollars of investment capital. I'm to show you this joint. Look, interest. look, the same thing when I mean metal. Based auto fuel introduces its fully automated robotic refueling system, aiming to provide a hassle-free refueling experience at gas stations. The company intends to apply its technological advantage to the current traditional refueling systems. Apart from refueling, AutoFuel also offers integrations with the existing payment and billing systems at the desired level. The system can be completely automatic and start functioning when it recognizes the vehicle, or it can integrate with a mobile app from which the user can start the system. The AutoFuel system has been designed as an addition to the existing dispensers on the it's market. Crazy. Therefore, the customer can always choose between automatic refueling and manual refueling at their convenience. Yeah, this is what I'm just trying to get y'all to understand. This ain't coming from just me. I ain't just talking. Everything Damon I mean Meadows talk to you about, I can prove. So when you're talking about AI, robots, cryptocurrency, where like <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, we gotta embrace the new world. We, you know, I got friends. Excuse me, that was somebody calling me. I got friends that literally don't even want to get a smartphone. <laughs> I'm dead serious. Because they stuck back in the day. Oh, it's a tracker. It's, let me tell y'all something. They got a camera everywhere in the world. There's not a highway, a street corner. They got satellites. Like when you when you really look at things and you and you face reality, you gotta embrace the technology. If you don't embrace the technology, you will lose. You will lose. They got robots. That's building houses in minutes. See, that's crazy. Let me see some robots building houses. Because I'm just I'm I'm showing you these things for several reasons, ladies and gentlemen, because I want us to see how. You know, I was in prison, right? So. Everybody say, oh, I'm coming home, I'm coming home to be a construction worker. Look, look, brick laying robots. Meet the Hadrian X. The machine is made by an Australian company called Fast Brick Robotics, or FBR for short. For reference, human bricklayers typically lay 300 to 500 bricks per day, with the record being an astonishing 914 bricks in just one hour. The Hadrian X's 200 bricks per hour may sound slow in comparison, but it's not using ordinary bricks. These are made special for the Hadrian X by FBR, and they're 12 times larger than standard house bricks. Thank you. So this is what I'm trying to tell you. This is next level. This is so next level that it's almost scary. It's almost scary. And I'm taking my time to talk because if, if we're going to be in trouble. We're going to be in trouble because I, I'm just talking about the people that I know. I can't speak for you and what you're doing with your family and all that, but I'm just keeping it real tonight. 
I'm just saying people I love, majority, the majority, I ain't saying everybody, the majority of the people that I know going to be lost. Going to be lost. And if you depend on the government to feed you, you're giving the government the option to starve you. I'm going to say that again. If you depend on the government to feed you, meaning, like I got some people that's scared to get off of Social Security. I got some people that's scared to get off welfare. I got some people that's scared to get off the uh, veteran benefits. They're comfortable. They're in that space. Like, you know, I got my, my VA check or I get my, uh, my, uh, my uh, uh, veteran, whatever they get. Social Security. They comfortable in that. They know every month that, that, that check going to hit. The bill's going to be paid. They good. Ladies and gentlemen, the U.S. dollar is getting ready to bubble. It's ready to bust. So, if the U.S. is in <laughs> trillions of dollars in debt, and other companies, other countries, let me tell you this before I close out. Other countries are taking cryptocurrency and making their own digital currency. You ever heard of BRICS? BRICS stands for Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa. Let me Google that for you. Because that's it. And I'm I'm not gonna be on here long. I just I'm just sad not to, to be honest with you. BRICS. I guess, man, it's crazy, man. Because our people, we don't have a clue. We don't have a clue. Let me let me show you what BRICS is. Because people don't get it. Let me show you what BRICS is, y'all. This ain't come from Damon. I mean, metals. It says BRICS. Look what it said. BRICS nations to see the highest surge in millionaire count over the next decade. <laughs> Listen to me. Look what it look at. Look at the look at the allegiance. Look at the allegiance. Brazil's president, Russia president, China president, South Africa president, India's president. I need y'all to understand what this means. Do you see America president over there? In this, this, do you see America's president in this video? I mean, this allegiance. No. Where is Biden at? Where is Trump at? He's not in here. He's not a part of BRICS. That means we're not a part of BRICS. Understand what this means, ladies and gentlemen. This is scary. And the sad part, most of us don't even know about this. I'm not saying I got all the brains, but I'm in some rooms. And when I'm in some rooms, I'm listening. And I'm not only listening, I'm taking action. I'm buying silver, gold, crypto, and doing making investments. I'm not putting my money all in no bank so the bank can make all this money off me and then don't give me nothing, then give me hell to even get a dog on loan. Nah. Money gotta be moved, y'all. Money gotta be invested. I'm not saying spend all your money on investments. I'm not saying that. Let's have balance. Let's keep it real. Put you a nice little stash up. But that money that you can, that's it. No. Money got to be moving. Money got to be powering. Money got to be working. That's what the Jews do. Everybody else but black people. Let's just keep it real. Some of us, but it's like we do it by ourselves. They ain't going to be like me. And then the sad part is, we so brainwashed, 
oh, I mean, must be, he must be in it, something in it for him. What? <laughs> Think about what you're saying. When you go to the Louis store, right? When I bought this, well, I got, this is a gift. But let's say I buy this Louis, this Louis wallet, right? This Louis got, got my initials in and everything, right? Let's say I bought this Louis wallet. When you go in a Louis Vuitton store, ain't no sales in the Louis store. You don't go in there and say, what Louis Vuitton? What's in it for Louis Vuitton? Well, what's in it for uh, for the Concord? What's in it for Rolex? What's in it for... You don't say that. But why do we say it amongst ourselves when when we give each other some advice to get some money? Think about that. That's a that's that that's that Willie Lynch stuff. They done broke the trust amongst us to the point where we don't even want to help each other get no money. But let a person that's not my color talk a little bit more educated than me, put on a little suit, and tell you, you know what, such and such. I think this would be a beautiful time for you to invest in what we have right here. It could be a cold scam. You're going to go for it because you brainwashed. You brainwashed. I'm going to tell you what, what woke me up. Well, in addition to a lot of other things. But what really took me to another level? Download the app Rumble and watch this documentary called The Fall of Cabal. I'm going to say it again. Go on the app Rumble. This is on any smart TV. Download the app Rumble. R-U-B. I mean R-U-M-B-L-E. Rumble. Look at the documentary. It's called The Fall of Cabal. All I'm going to tell you is. I got a new aspect. A new look on life. Remember that saying? Believe none of what you see and only half of what you heard. I'm going to repeat that again. The fall of cabal is going to make you realize that statement that we used to always say. Believe none of what you see and only half of what you hear. Excuse me. Because I was so disheartened, mad, saddened, disrespected, angry, vulnerable, misled. It's going you're gonna have an array of emotions because they come in with facts. Facts about the 9-11. Facts about uh, COVID, the pandemic, facts about the president, facts about Obama, facts. Man, it just was like, oh, you got to be kidding me right now. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't going to lie to you. Now, I'm going to tell you, I was in jail when Obama became the first. Well, he again, I, I thought he was the first black president. Found out he wasn't even the first black president. So this, this, this you gotta read. This is why they always say, if you want to keep something from some mind, put it in a book. We don't read. Not just entertainment reading, but studying reading. But now we can we can see things, documentaries, all type of stuff. So I was in jail when Obama uh, became the president, right? In the United States. I was crying. Oh, and look, my indictment say Damon Meadows versus United States of America. That means the United States of America, he's the president. I'm in jail. I'm fighting the, the, the government. That's what my indictment say, for real. Damon Meadows versus the United States of America. So, in essence, I'm against the United States of America. That's what the indictment says. But, as a black man and wanting to see... Another black man achieved the highest job in America. And that's all it is, is a job. I had to learn that too. That he doesn't have any real pull, but that's a whole other story. I was proud. 
Because I thought real, I thought real change was coming. Bunch of BS. Don't believe Damon I mean Meadows. Download the app Rumble. Watch the docu-series, The Fall of Cabal. Cabal is a C. C-A-B-A-L. The Fall of Cabal. Yeah, that's a whole number conversation. So, I'm not going to hold you. I just felt like talking tonight because um, I'm excited about the future. And I want my people to embrace the future. Embrace silver. Embrace gold. If you don't know where to get gold and silver, I literally have a company. It's not my company. They give you the cheapest prices for the best silver and the best gold on the face of the earth. And I'm talking about $27, $72, $77. It doesn't cost a lot. If you got to get one piece of silver at a time, one piece of gold at a time, stack it up. Like you buy Hennessy, you buy weed, you buy sneakers. Yeah, buy you some gold and silver too. The company is called At Cost Metals. DM me, email me at um, info at uh, um, metalsempire.com. Metals Empire, info at metalsempire.com. DM me if you got my phone number, call me. Like I tell people, don't, don't, and I'll be going home. When I go home, I'll be mad when people say, oh, man, I see you on Instagram. I see you on Facebook doing your thing, man. Oh, man, that's what's up. I'm proud of you. Man, man, I, be, I said, why you ain't call me and see, tell me, oh, man, I just, you know, man. No, I'm doing it for the people. I definitely am doing it for the people I know. Because y'all know me. Y'all know my character. There's nobody can say, I Damon, I mean, Metals is slimy or anything like that. I don't have that type of name. That's, I'm, and that's a beautiful thing just nowadays to say you got a, a credible name. That is a beautiful thing to be able to stand on. Now. I'm sharing this information because you, we got to help each other. Like, it's that simple. Like, it ain't even like no game. We got to help each other. Because now that we're law-abiding citizens, I got to help the wolves. Because I used to be a wolf. So how can I forget about the wolves? You got to feed the wolves. I don't want the wolves going back to prison. I just got the phone with my man Black from JBM. Dirty Black, man did 36 years in prison. That man wrote over 200 children books. We ready to turn uh, uh, Black's books into movies and screenplays. I mean, stage plays. You know what I mean? How, this is going to be a beautiful thing. Who would have thought a person that they alleged to be this vicious enforcer of JBM? He care about the kids, about gun violence, child molestation, diseases. He's educating our youth. He a wolf. So we can't forget about the wolves, ladies and gentlemen. Because real men that's coming home, they take our leadership back. They lead our women and our children. That's a beautiful thing. Just like we was leading in the streets on foolishness. Now we on real, real, real guidance. From Islam to silver, gold, cryptocurrency, AI technology. This is another form of leadership. We got to I'm going to tell you, all don't forget what I told you about that boomerang. It's an AI technology with trading. The AI technology does not allow you to make a mistake. Who doesn't want to trade and don't make the AI don't make, let you make a mistake? Come on, y'all. So with that being said, don't play games with your life. We in our 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. And we don't have 20. What happened to that? Okay, so we want to, we want to, we don't want to die, we're not leaving, we're leaving bills to our families. I want to leave benefits to my family. 
I want to leave the legacy. I want to leave the big houses, the corporations, the, 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 the legacy, the trust funds. You know, people don't even know what a trust is. In 2024, there's some people over the age of 30 that don't know about trust and how serious and how it's almost an obligation that we open up a trust for our family. We got to get educated. So we got to share this information. We don't share this information. And if we do share it, the devil done tricked you. You think, oh, he's trying. What's in it for her? She thinks she, no, get out of that. Nobody, because at the end of the day, what Damon I mean Meadows eat don't make you poo-poo. And what you eat don't make Damon I mean Meadows poo-poo. It doesn't. And that's just the reality. So with that being said, I ain't going to keep y'all all night. I just want to share some thoughts. Like I told you, gold, silver, get with me. You want to learn how to save in gold? You want to know where the best gold and the best silver is? You want to learn about uh, crypto trading with the AI technology? It don't allow you to make mistakes. Um, listen, ladies and gentlemen, you want to get crypto with uh, Miracle Cash and more, the Phoenix token. I share these things for a reason. You've got to have several entrepreneurs that say, I'm retiring soon. I need to get with you. Yes, cousin, get with me, bro. I got you, cuz. This ain't no BS. I got you, bro. So, ladies and gentlemen, we and that's good. that See how you just talked about you're very retri- retired, bro. We got to prepare and get residual income because Warren Buffett said it best. He said, if you don't learn how to make money while you sleep, you will work until you die. Let me tell you something. This is this ain't nothing. Well, it is something to brag about. I ain't gonna say that. I never had a job in my life. I never worked in prison. I never worked outside of prison. I, I don't because I know my mind, and this ain't for everybody. I'm just saying, Damon, I mean metals. I believe my mind is too sharp for me to work for somebody. I'm a build day legacy. No, I'm not doing that. Because I, Allah just blessed me with certain qualities. Soon when I, I wrote my first book and I seen my book, I made Essence Bestsellers list. Oh, I can never work for nobody again. I can write these, uh, some words. Okay. Oh, there you go. Nope. Yeah, I, I, I mean, I never worked in my life. And I don't plan to work for nobody else. That's not for everybody. Because it's been some hard times. I ain't going to say a lot to you. But just like it's hard times, there's been some flourishing times. And that comes with entrepreneurship. That comes with entrepreneurship. And entrepreneur, you got to have tough skin to be an entrepreneur. You're going to have overdraft bank accounts. you going to, I know I just said it was going in and out. My fault, cuz. Entrepreneurship ain't for everybody. Like I said, you know, it's been good times, bad times, but I love all the times because I'm built for it. I'm built for it. That's me. I ain't saying you are. I'm saying me. So therefore, I like to encourage people, follow your dreams. Don't let them, don't listen to the negative Nancy's and no hope Bob's. Oh, you can't do that. I try to do that. And it, listen, some people are going to try to put their limitations on you. Don't do it. Don't allow. Don't even listen to them. I don't even get nobody. To, to, I don't even let them. I don't even let them in my ear. I don't deal with no hope. I don't deal with no hope bobs and negative nancies. Never allow a person to put their limitations on you. Because they limit it. Because they don't believe. Damon, I mean, Metal's always been my biggest cheerleader. I've always been my biggest cheerleader. And you got to be your biggest cheerleader. That's real talk. Yeah, I'm talking about your wife, your husband, your daughter, your father, your mother. You, listen, you don't know who them no-hope bobs and negative Nancy's might come from. It might be the closest people to you that try to steal your dream. And they might not be doing it intentionally. They might do it under the umbrella of trying to protect you from the hurt that they may have experienced chasing their dream. 
But why would you stop me from my dream just because it ain't work for you? Hmm. Always remember, ladies and gentlemen, it's not a game. Listen, like I said, you want to get some gold and silver? You want to learn about some crypto? Boomerang is going to change the game. I'm telling you that right now. Phoenix token, Miracle Cash and more. Whatever I got, I'm, I'm here to share with my people. So like I said, it's Damon I mean Meadows. It's not a game. Get with me, y'all. Terry, hey, Terry, uh, DM me, bro. Send me a message. I'm uh, going to call you ASAP. Send me your phone number on, on direct message. All right? Peace. Assalamu alaikum.